This is Film Masters, and on this episode, we'll be working in Premiere Pro, working on the tools in editing. One thing I'd like you to do is to source out some of your own video files if you've got them, get them into Premiere Pro, and we're going to start doing some editing. Now, what I'll do is I'll make sure that we've got two video files in the download section so that you can download 4K resolution uh, videos. So I've got two here that I've done for my uh, Roger Roderick Road short film competition. So these ones here will be included so you can download them and start editing them if you don't have any videos on your computer. So let's begin. I'm just going to grab this first video. Obviously, as I showed in the previous one, you can edit in here in this uh, project window. However, I'm just going to drag the video file down. As you can see, you can move it around onto different layers. I'm going to put onto video one and audio one, and I'm going to keep it as keep existing settings. So I want to keep the original settings um, as I explained in the previous video tutorial. So once I've done that, one thing you'll notice because it's 4K, it's a lot larger than the actual size. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and I'm going to select scale to frame size. Once I've done that, you'll notice it's gone into the size. However, there's still a little bit of letterboxing there. I'm just going to go up to the effect controls, hit motion and adjust the scale there. So it fits in there nicely into our window, as you can see. Okay, let's do the same with the other video. I'm just going to drag it down so we've got something to start editing on. Same thing here. I'm going to right click, scale to frame size. And I'm just going to adjust it to the right size that I'm happy with. So once I've done that, we're going to start doing some editing. So first of all, if you highlight your cursor over the top, it'll tell you what the actual name of the tool is. This is the selection tool. And it also tells you what the shortcut is, which is V on your keyboard. Now, what that's used for, obviously, is just so you can grab each individual clip and move them around if you want to on the timeline. So that's one of the main tools that you will use in editing. Next one we're going to move to is this one here. Now, this one's called the Tracked Select Tool. Now, that's a shortcut on your keyboard. By selecting that, what this actually does, for example, if I grab the last clip on the end there and move it, you'll notice what happens is that one clip just moves. Sim very similar to the move tool. If I select everything else in front of it, what happens is everything else behind that clip will be affected and it's really good because you can actually move it around on your timeline. Next one we have is the ripple edit tool. Now how this works, if you have a look, we can adjust the clip here and it will actually drag the rest of the clip behind it. As you can see, it moves this and allows you to make it a edit within the video file itself. Next tool we're going to use is this one here. This one's called the rolling edit tool. It's very similar to the ripple edit tool. However, first of all, I'm just going to go up to the move tool and I'm just going to grab the end of this one and move it down. Do the same with this one here. Just drag them together just so I can explain and show you what this actual tool does. So the rolling edit tool, when I select it, if I go in between, it allows me, if I have a look up here, let's say, for example, that's say, say 10 second mark, for example, I'm going to grab this clip and it allows me to move it and allows it, the two clips themselves to still remain in the same 10 seconds. So I can move it back and forward and it still keeps the frames in the same length. Now, what's interesting with the next tool, I'm just going to show you something. So by pressing the space bar, which allows the video to play. Let's say, for example, I want to adjust this particular clip here and make it so it's slow, like a slow motion. So adjusting the frame rate. Well, we're going to use this tool, which is called the rate stretch tool by selecting that I can grab the end and drag it out however long I want. And what happens is it now adjusts the, the frame rate. So as you can see, the video is playing in a different frame rate. In fact, it's in slow motion. So you can actually grab a clip using that tool and make a selection on it and adjust it. The next tool is the razor tool. I call it the cut tool. That's C is the shortcut on the keyboard for that one. Now you'll use the, uh, the razor tool and the selection tool more than any other tool in this palette. Now, 
what you need to do once it's selected, what it does, let's say for example, I'm looking at this clip here, I press space bar, I'm playing, I'm looking at the clip itself, and I just blinked. Now let's go back using the back and forward arrows on the keyboard to adjust frame by frame. As soon as I blink, I'm gonna cut right there. By doing that, we've just cut that clip. Now I might wanna delete that. So I can delete that clip to shorten it and bring it in. And therefore, so when I blink, it goes straight to the next frame. Now these next two tools, uh, the slip tool and the slide tool, they're very complex. And in fact, I don't really know why they've put them in this product in uh, Premiere Pro. With these two tools, generally when you've got more than three clips on there, it allows you to slide all the clips around, very similar to the ripple and the rolling edit. However, because of the complexity of them and because these are about editing basics, I'm not gonna cover them. I don't think there's something that we need to worry about. The next tools though, these next three tools are ones that you will use a lot. This one is the pen tool. Now I'll show you something here. I'm gonna zoom in. So there's one we can zoom in on the slider here to get close up to the clip. The other one is we can use the zoom tool by selecting it and zooming in or press the alt button, hold it down, allows us to zoom back out again. So I'm gonna zoom in to this clip using this tool here, which is the hand tool, allows us to move around on the timeline. Very similar to this one here, but with more precision. And I'm gonna use this tool here, which is the pen tool. Now, let me show you something up here in the effects control. Let's say, for example, I want to uh, put some keyframes in there. That's what this tool's used for. So I can go in on the timeline, put a keyframe here. As you can see, it puts a keyframe in on the opacity. Put a keyframe here, keyframe here, and I might put a keyframe here. As you can see, I've got four keyframes up here. However, I've manually put them in there. So I might say I wanna fade out here and so forth. Now, once I've done that, I can go up to the move tool, select that keyframe and drag it down. I might drag the bottom one to the bottom like so. So when I press the space bar, what you'll see now is it ramps. So it fades in and then it fades out. So they're the tools in Premiere Pro, very simple tutorial. What we're gonna be covering next, we'll be using sound in audio files and how we can actually adjust sound in Premiere Pro. So that's what our next tutorial will be. Now, if you wanna become a Film Master sub, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is subscribe to us on the channel. You can like us on Facebook and on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.